Whenever our chips are down, we generally fall back on family recipes or comfort food. Today's recipe, of course, is healthy, is nutritious, is made within a few minutes, extremely high in protein, and particularly this one is from my grandmother's kitchen. Dal like, soup like, broth like, consomme like, rasam like, or salmon is today's recipe. Hey guys, it's me, the Bombay Chef Varun Namdar, and welcome to Ratri Food. Let's begin. When we talk about cuisines in general, we generally talk about Mexican food or Italian food or Gujarati food or Maharashtrian or Bengali or Kashmiri food. But what we fail to understand is there are cuisines within a cuisine. This one in particular is from the Kachi Bhatia community. Of course, from the belt of Gujarat, but it's very different from the Gujarati food per se. Of course, there are little few nuances and that intricate habit of making little few changes is what also leads to innovation but this is not an innovative recipe it's a very traditional recipe made with split gram it's literally like a water it's like a rasam if you remember what i said before how do you make that how do you lead to that water of gram is what is important what you need to do is you need to take of course a cup of tur dal or arhar ki dal and you wash it nicely you cook it with at least five cups of water. So one cup of dal to four to five cups of water with just a touch of salt. You ensure that the dal is very well mashed. This dal has become nice, mashed and pulpy. And there's of course the dal water. Now there are two components to this recipe. One is of course the osamun, which is almost water-like. And then there is a thick dal, which is generally referred to as a lachko or a lachko ki dal or a lachko ni dal. Of course, I'll show that some other time. But today's recipe is osamun, for which we're going to use the dal water. It's thin, but it of course has all the flavor, all the nutrition, all the protein of the dal as well. This recipe is going to use this dal water. It's going to be spiced, it's going to be sweet, it's going to be, of course, a tad bit sour. You can use kokum, you can use lemon, choice is completely yours. Personalize it slightly, but don't go extremely overboard. I'm going to use this strained dal water or dal liquid to make the recipe of osamun. First things first, light the flame. While the pan is heating up, I'm going to flavor the dal with a few spices. Let's add in red chili powder. The red chili, of course, depends on the kind of spice that you and your family can take. This recipe also has green chili in the form of a crush, a touch of turmeric powder, coriander powder. You can also add the quintessential dhana jiru, which is used in most um, food items in the Gujarati cuisine. Jaggery in the form of powder, slightly on the sweetest side. And with this, salt as required. Remember the fact that salt was already added while cooking the dal. So do not go overboard with the salt. Let's mix this well. Now while this recipe of course uses the dal liquid or the dal water, it's also important to understand that dhania or coriander works as a slight thickener in Indian food. So this is going to slightly thicken when it's of course going to get cooked. And also it has dal. Dal of course has that thickening property. So it's all going to kind of balance out. But nevertheless, the eventual product is going to be runny, soup-like or broth-like. Let's begin with ghee in the hot pan. The ghee has heated up. Let's begin with cinnamon sticks. Just a few of these. Followed by cloves. Well, I'm adding four or five. You can go slight bit overboard because this adds a wonderful nuance and undertone to this entire recipe. Allow the ghee to now get flavored with these two spices. And only when that happens, I'm going to add in cumin seeds. Well, you can avoid the cumin seeds and also add in mustard seeds. Like I said, every home has that little bit of a touch that makes that little bit of a difference. Curry leaves. Washed and patted dry, of course and paste of ginger and green chili. This recipe does not have garlic. These are these little things that make all the difference. Once the raw flavor of the ginger and green chilies goes away, I'm going to add in the dal water, of course, with all its spices. Mm. 
Now, like I said earlier, this is very close to the recipe of a rasam, which is of course quintessentially from the south of India. Every region has a recipe which uses dal water. Like in Maharashtra, there's also a recipe called katachi amti, which is generally served with a puran poi. Or salmon, of course, is Gujarati kachi bhatia. Allow the osaman to boil on high flame till the flavors, of course, get wonderfully infused in this recipe. Last few ingredients. The first one, of course, is fresh coriander and then a khatai or a souring agent. Now, it could be gold kokum, it could be regular kokum, it could be uh, tamarind, it could be lemon. In this case today, I'm using fresh lemon juice. But before that, let me cut fresh coriander leaves. Well, one thing that you would note in this recipe is it has very few ingredients. But trust me, when you use them in the right proportions, it's wonderfully flavoured. Let's add in freshly cut coriander leaves, a squeeze of fresh lemon. Of course, you need to collect the seeds because you do not want surprises in your mouth. One final mix. With this, off goes the flame. Do not boil it after the addition of lemon juice. Otherwise, it'll get that tad bit of a bitter note and you do not want that in an osama. Let's transfer this. Now you may ask me how to eat this. Well, you can have this two ways. You can have this either with a khichdi and lachko dal, or you can have it just like a soup, like I've been having for several years now. God knows how many. Well, this is my absolute comfort food. And this is a reminder of my grandmother. Just perfect. Make this for a family and see how this becomes your comfort food.